Okay, so I'm going to start off with the Subculture palette. I'll be using the color New Wave, and I'm just going to go ahead and just start putting that all in my crease. So the next color I'm going to use is Edge from the same palette, and I'm just going to go ahead and start putting that all on the lid. I'm just going to literally just start packing this on, uh, just like a word of advice. If you want the color to be a lot more vibrant, use like a white base to prime the lid before. I unfortunately didn't have one, so I just go ahead and use the concealer that I did off camera. And I'm just going to keep packing that color on and then start adding some on my crease as well. Alright, so now I'm just going to curl my lashes, and uh, I've just been doing this a lot lately, like before, I never curled my lashes because <laughs> the last thing that I used broke my lashes in half, but yeah, I'm going to take the Tardis Lash Paint Mascara, and I'm going to just do a light coat because I wasn't sure if I was going to put falsies on, but I ended up not putting some on, so you'll see like a little bit later that I, I do have thicker lashes because I ended up adding more product. So going back into the palette, I just took the color edge again and just started putting it more on my lids again, just because I did get some mascara on my eyelid and it kind of got on the eyeshadow. So just to clean it up a little bit, I just added some more shadow colors to it. So now I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild primer. As you guys know, it's like my favorite. So then I'm just gonna start priming my face. And I'm gonna take my Anastasia foundation in natural and I literally am like running out so I just kind of scraped it off with the back of the brush and just started applying that on my face and as you can see I have like a little bit of trouble with that I could have just melted it and it would work just fine but yeah So now I'm going to take my Fenty foundation and I think it's in the shade 220 if I'm not mistaken. So just to add some more coverage, I'm just going to go ahead and start applying some of that foundation as well. So I just sprayed my face just because I did use the stick foundation as well. So I'm just going to grab my beauty blender and just start blending out the foundation. And I don't know, it came out nice, it blended it out nice, but I feel like it's too light. So I think I might have to just go ahead and just buy some new foundation that is my skin color. Because all the foundation I have just seems to be way too light. So now I'm going to take my Anastasia concealer in the shade 3.5 and I'm just going to start applying that under my eyes. I really like this concealer, it, it's really creamy so it's not like too heavy under your eyes but you can't pick it up so I kind of hate showing products that you can no longer get. So I'm also going to pick up my Wet n Wild concealer just to add a little bit more coverage and color 
to balance out and I'm just gonna start blending that out with my beauty blender. Alright, so the two powders that I'm going to be using is the Maybelline Fit Me in 220 and the Cody Air Spun. So I'm just going to grab my Real Technique sponge and start grabbing the Cody Air Spun and kind of just pressing it into my skin so it melts in. Just because I tend to like that instead of baking. So now I'm just going to grab my Fit Me kind of loose powder and my cat was like all up in my way so I was like really confused but yeah I'm so I'm just gonna grab my real technique sponge as well and just start pressing that into my skin just to mattify it before I start putting on any other powdered products So now I'm just going to go in with my Hoola bronzer with this um, kind of sort of e.l.f. fan brush. This is literally my favorite brush to apply my bronzer. I just feel like it works so well and it's only like $6. So I definitely recommend using one of these brushes for your contour, bronzer, all that good stuff. So I'm going to go in with the subculture palette and start grabbing the shade New Wave and just start applying that all over my under eyes just to balance it out. Since I will not be wearing eyeliner, I just make, need to make sure that my eyes look pretty balanced from top to bottom. I'm also going to be grabbing the shade Edge and applying that as well. And I'm using a vintage kind of like shader brush. So now I'm just going to be taking... NYX is worth the hype and using that for my lower lashes just because I feel like they're pretty natural with that way so I'm just going to be applying that and I'm also going to be applying some more on the top of my lashes just to add some more volume to it. So now I'm just going to be taking my Master Palette by Anastasia and taking the shade Fifth Avenue and just start applying that in my inner corners as you can see I hit pan on the shadow it's literally one of my favorites hence why I never use that palette anymore because it was a limited edition palette for my lips I'm going to be using the essence clear gloss it's literally like one of my favorite clear glosses and it's only like three dollars at Ulta so definitely go check that out as well I'm going to be using my Anastasia glow kit in that glow and just taking these three shades on an e.l.f. brush and I'm just going to literally just start packing and highlighting as much as I can. Now I'm just going to go ahead and just spray my face just so everything can melt in. So, that's the finished look. I swear I'm awful at these. My videos are like everywhere. But I'm going to get better, I promise. But yeah, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I don't really know how to do an outro, but... Just follow me on my social media. You guys can go ahead and subscribe if you guys want. And yeah, thanks for watching.